Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we will be seeing why Sellerpick AI is currently undisputed when it comes to clothes swapping using your actual clothes. And this can be great for people who are into e-commerce or require this kind of a swapping for any commercial purpose. Sellerpick gets it as close as possible. We'll also be later on seeing the results from some other AI heavyweights like Ideogram, ChatGPT, and others. So let's get started with this process. Once you do create your account with Sellerpick AI, you will get 20 credits. So you can definitely try this for free. So once you are after your creation, Creating your account seeing this home page you're basically going to go over to this part which says AI model image and then you are going to click on this option that says virtual try on and it's a fairly simple uh, tool to use all you have to do is you just upload your garment image here and then you select one of the models either the ones that they have given you or as we're going to see later on you can also upload your own custom models and then it's just going to put that garment on top we have different categories here either you can only put the top part of the garment only the bottom uh, both together or a one-piece garment we'll be seeing uh, all these almost so let's start the process with only this particular top here so for this first example we have this t-shirt that we are going to place on one of the models that they have given. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this image of this garment right here. All the images and the links to the tools as always have been given in the description so you can follow along with me. So let's start this process. So the moment your image gets uploaded like this, you can select the template. You can see by default, this first template here is selected of this guy and is automatically showing us the mask where it's going to create the replacement. If you're not happy with the mask, you can hit this uh, part which says adjust area. And if you want, you can just, you know, once it loads up the image, you have different tools to just refine this mask according to your own needs. So you can see, for example, right now it's coming a bit on his hands. That means the hands can change a bit. But usually I've seen seller pick does a pretty decent job. So unless and until the mask is too inaccurate, I would just leave it at the default settings. This is going to be more important actually when later on we will be uploading our own model. But right now, most of the times for its own templates, it's the automatic mask that you get is usually more than enough. You also get a preview area here. But like I said, you can always add or, you know, not or remove something just by using these uh, tools here. Right now, I'm just going to leave it at the default because we're anyway going to see this again. And that's about it. You really don't have to do anything apart from the fact that you can select any other model uh, if you want. But right now, I'm just going to stick to this first one and we're going to hit the generate button. And we are more interested in how consistent this is going to be because remember, this T-shirt had a pretty loud design. Uh, with some small elements also so can seller pick keep things consistent let's find out all right so our results are ready and just have a look at this we've got four results just look at this design compare it to the original t-shirt and even small things like those little blue droplets that are there next to the main design even those they stay consistent and that is pretty amazing because you're going to see later on when i show you the results from the other competitors I mean, it's not even going to be close. So this is the first result that we got. You do get four results. So you can see even this looks good. And let's just see one more. Oftentimes, one of the results sometimes cannot be that perfect. But usually I've seen at least two out of the four are going to be really, really good. But I think in this case, I think all of the results look really, really nice. So this was a pretty easy task for seller pick. Now let's make things a bit harder because what we're going to do is for this next example, we are going to actually upload both the top garment as well as the bottom one. So this time we also have these uh, orange cargo pants and we're going to upload this together with the earlier t-shirt. So let's start this process again. So what I can do is I can just hit this reset button and I can just delete this picture. So this will be easy to understand, right? That's why I'm not showing because only bottom will work pretty much the same way as only top. So right now, let's just go to the full body one. Let's upload the t-shirt here. Let's upload the cargo pants here, right? So both the images are, uh, are uploading right now. And what's going to happen is when both these images do get uploaded, one good thing about seller pick is that they, I've often seen that they change the templates according to what you have uploaded here. So can you see this page is now refreshing because now it knows that since you have both these things, the earlier templates may not look as good. And I have never seen anything like this in any other AI software. So this, these people 
are dedicatedly working on something which is used actually to sell things, like for commercial platforms like Amazon and all. And their AI is really getting trained very well on this. Okay, so this is pretty amazing for people who are into this stuff. So you can see it's showing me the new uh, templates which are more compatible. So let, let's again go for the default one that it is selected. Uh, you can see I'm pretty happy with the mask here. But if you want, you can just once again, just confirm it. Usually I've seen as long as it's not encroaching somewhere where it's not supposed to, usually it's not a problem. So you can see like, for example, something like this. So we can just make sure uh, to basically remove this. Now in order to remove this, since we don't have a way to subtract from things, what we can do is we can just inverse this mask and just paint it over right here and then invert it again. So now it gets removed and now our job is done. We're gonna select, select confirm. And that's about it. You really don't have to do anything else. We're gonna hit, uh, generate and let's wait for these four results all right so our results are ready now you can see again it has done a fantastic job let's open up the first result and you can see now both the things have been put on this guy and everything still remains very consistent the probably the only thing i would probably say in this particular result is that it's not taken into account one of the pockets on the pants so maybe one of the uh, variations here would have probably done that not in this one and sometimes these little things can be added, so you can see this time it is added, so I think this result is really, really good, but the issue is it's added it on both the sides, but that usually is not a problem at all because we can go to any editing software and simply just remove one of the pockets, but I think we can't complain about such small things because we've just not seen this kind of consistency anywhere, and that's not just it. You can also, if you're not happy with something, you can actually edit it right here, so you don't even need to go to another software, you can remove something like this uh, using the eraser tool and all. Now, since there are a lot of options here right now, I don't want to mix things too much. I will be covering seller pick in a lot of detail in my upcoming video. So make sure you subscribe because there I plan to go even into more detail. In this video, this is slightly dedicated more to comparing the results with some other AI editing software out there. Now, before we do that, before we go on to the comparison part, we're just gonna hit the reset button here. We still have this one piece garment, which again, we're gonna see, but this time we're gonna stay right here in this full body one, but we are going to upload our own image of our own model. So this is an image that I created inside Mid Journey, and I deliberately wrote a prompt which gave us a challenging pose for the model. So you can see here, this is not gonna be easy since this is a mid-air action pose. So it's not gonna be that easy for AI to put on those cargo pants and the t-shirt and still maintain the realism. So can seller pick handle this challenge? Well, let's find out. First of all, we are gonna hit custom button here and then we're gonna upload our image. So let's do that. And the moment you do that, it tries to understand what is in the image just tries to uh, understand the context of this image. So it'll ask you some uh, optional or give you some optional options like telling it what exactly is happening in the image. Like if this is a guy or a woman, so we're gonna select male. Uh, you can see something like adults and you know, in this one background, I can say outdoor and that's it. You don't have to really, uh, you know, go for everything here. You can select uh, the type of garment also here. I'm just gonna basically go over for go over to create and this is gonna be important, the area about the mask. Since this is a custom image, we no longer are assisted by the template here. It will select an auto mask on its own. It'll try to do that so you can hit this auto button and just when you start hovering over the areas, it does understand where the t-shirt is. So you can see here, not too accurate, it's going a bit out of bounds, but we can always correct that. So you can see here, maybe something like this, we can hit now, it's gonna mark that, and also the part on the pants here, so we can select something like this. So right now it's also selected the face and the hand, so we can go over to the deselect option, and just slowly click on these areas, just telling it we don't want this, and we don't want the shoes, and maybe, Let's just zoom in. So you can see I'm trying my best, but we are not able to get rid of the mask from this area, even though I've really zoomed in a lot. And it's not such a bad thing. That's not a problem at all. We can still go on to our manual masking because here we can do that. So uh, remember, we don't have a way to subtract it. So we can just invert the selection and just paint this area. So this way you can even get very, very close to it and then just invert it. And I think this should be fine. Maybe just I'll add a bit of his 
Apollo here. I think this should be fine. So we're going to hit confirm. And now we're going to hit generate and let's see if it can handle this challenging scenario. All right, so our results are ready and just look at this. We have simply not seen anything like this before. Maintained everything exactly as it is. This is as local and accurate an editing that you will ever, ever see. It's even the things like, small things like the wrinkles on the t-shirt according to his pose, just the very fact it was not there in this original shot and has just reproduced that along with keeping the design consistent is mind-blowing. Uh, here we can't really see the pockets, but overall it does look like this and that's more than enough because this is anyway going to be more of a creative style of a shoot if you're going in for e-commerce. Here it's slightly distorted the body. That is something I've often seen with these custom images. But then remember, this is a challenging pose. This also looks good. And I think till now the first result had been the best. Yeah, here also the legs look a bit weird. But if you look at the first result, I think this is pretty much perfect. Now let's try the one piece garment also and then we'll also see how the competitors fare. All right, for this last example, we've got this one piece dress. You can see it's not a simple dress. It does have those complex patterns, can sell a pic, keep them consistent. Let's upload this image and find out. And you can see that as I'm uploading the image, sell a pic is already starting to analyze the image and is gonna give us the templates which will go well with this. And usually I've seen the first one is the best. That's uh, what they suggest. So let's wait for these to load. All right, so you can see the new templates come here. I'm going to go with the second one because I feel her dress here is closer to this one. So sometimes that you can also evaluate a template like that. So I'm just, I think I'm happy with the mask this time. I'm just going to directly hit generate and let's wait for the results. Particularly interested in seeing if it can keep those subtle designs there. All right, so our results are ready and just have a look at this. So if we just look at this image, absolutely fantastic. If we just see the image side by side to the dress, those little patterns are very, very consistent. We simply have not seen anything like this before. Now, let's see how some of its competitors fare at this job. All right, so we really don't have to see many detailed results here. I've just done it for the t-shirt because that is enough to understand that these other tools simply cannot handle such a complex task. So you can see here in chat GPT AI uploaded both these images, put the t-shirt in the second image onto the guy in the first image. We got a pretty decent result. If we just quickly download this and have a zoomed in look into this image, you're going to realize that First of all, obviously, one of the biggest problems with ChatGPT is it regenerates the entire image. So it's not the same image anymore. He looks a bit different, has got that AI-ish look a bit, which is a huge advantage in Cellopic. None of their photos, you know, they're basically not AI photos in my opinion. They're photos of real people. So it looks very real. That itself is a huge advantage. And then it's consistent. But here you can see it's changed the image. And only this part seems a bit consistent, but again, those droplets there, they didn't have the wide part in between. So even small things like this, you know, it's not consistent. Let's see what Kling's virtual try on feature did. So Kling also has this feature where you can try the AI virtual try on. It only costs five credits. You can upload your own image and upload the garment image and you can see the result here. I don't even need to download the image because I can straight away see that this is absolutely terrible nothing consistent about it and even from far away here i can see that it's even messed up those words so we're not even going to download this our last hope was ideograms magic fill feature if you see the result here again this was the result after going through the entire process which anyway is a downside because it does involve a lot of steps to reach to this point i've shown it in a couple of my videos before it definitely works great for products with text but definitely not for complex designs like this. So again, got those wordings wrong and doesn't look too consistent at all. I even tried the mid journey editor using the omni reference feature, but right now it tells me that omni reference still mainly works for portraits and faces and not for objects. So mid journey currently for this is out of the equation. So you can clearly see that Cellopic AI is undisputed. I plan to do a lot of experiments with Cellopic AI. It's an amazing software and it has a lot, lot of features out there, which a lot of people don't know about because it can handle pretty much 
any product type that you can throw at it. So in case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you want to follow along all these experiments in the AI image and video editing world, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.